Probably you know that stopping treatment is an emerging uh, goal of uh, chronic myeloid leukemia management because several studies have already uh, demonstrated the possibility to stop treatment. Uh, we did in uh, Lancet Oncology already six years ago, confirmed by Australian group, uh, confirmed also by the French group, and recently we reported uh, the STEAM study uh, with a long follow-up uh, which validates the concept of treatment-free remission. So a sustained deep molecular response on long-term TKI therapy seems to be necessary prior to attempt uh, treatment-free remission. However, the more precise uh, condition for stopping CML treatment are not uh, yet well defined. So, um, already four years ago, we start uh, a trial in Europe entitled Euroski. The criteria of stopping treatment were less strict as compared to the previous study. In another word, patients uh, uh, were proposed for stopping uh, when they were in deep molecular response defined by MR4. In another word, it means that the BCI ball level it is at four log reduction as compared to the beginning of the disease. This this deep molecular response is sustained during one year and the patient have to be treated in three years and uh, every, every, every kind of TKI were uh, possible in that study. Um, and the definition of molecular recurrence or molecular relapse in that study was loss of major molecular response. In another word, a level of BCI ball more than 0.1%. We, we include uh, or we have pre-registered in that study more than 800 patients. 11 countries from Europe participate to that study. So here you have the different patient or the patient flow and disposition. So the final registration was uh, 821 because we, we have some uh, screen failure and um, because some also exclusion and different uh, protocol violation uh, the the analysis was performed on 758 patients um, and we have also proposed uh, pronostic modeling on 448 patients only treated with imatinib de novo so uh, we perform a, a an intention to stop treatment analysis uh, among the five, uh, among the 755 patients. So among them, uh, 373 patients uh, lost the major molecular response. We observed four deaths, and the median follow-up, but the median follow-up was around 15 months, and the median follow-up for the patient who did not relapse. Uh, was uh, 26 months. As you can see on that curve, most of uh, event, in other words, most of loss of MMR occurred during the first six months. The probability to be off treatment still in major molecular response at 12 months is uh, 55 percent, and it is 50 percent at 20 at 24 months. So, with inclusion and uh, relapse criteria less strict than in many previous trials and with uh, uh, a decentralized but standardized PCR monitoring stopping of TKI therapy in a large cohort of CML patients appear feasible and safe. This trial close to the true life demonstrates that half of the patients are still off treatment with a molecular re uh, recurrence with a median follow-up around 15 months. The proportion of patients without recurrence loss of MMR after six months is 51% and after 18 months is 52%. Longer duration of uh, imatinib therapy uh, prior to TKI uh, stop correlate with a higher probability of relapse-free survival and it is really the only factor that we uh, observed. In addition, the, the duration of MR4 is also significant 
and on Monday I will uh, uh, present an, an, a cutoff for the duration of MR4 because the cutoff of, of duration for hematidip therapy in that study was uh, evaluated at 5.8 years. Gender, age, or any other vari variables such as UTOS, so called score, are not uh, able to predict the, the success of stopping treatment. And uh, we, we, we think that our study will be very useful and supports to edit new uh, ELN recommendations. So I want to thank all of my colleagues in Europe and particularly uh, Suzanne Sosselet, which is uh, on the first row here, which is my co-PI. Thank you very much.